The crossover SUV market is exploding in popularity and diversity, spawning new offshoots faster than a banyan tree in a time-lapse video. But Infiniti's QX80 resides in what seems destined to remain a short tendril, the full-size, three-row luxury SUV. Of the dozens of crossovers of all shapes and sizes, and prices, this class is one of the most sparsely populated. By our count, there are just five and a half, the Cadillac Escalade, the QX80, the Lexus LX570, the Lincoln Navigator, and the Mercedes-Benz GLS. Our partial credit goes to the not quite as opulent GMC Ugandanelli. As high fashion on a grand scale, the QX80 works quite well. The Navigator and, to a lesser degree, the Escalade employ gigantism as their primary stylistic philosophy. To us, they inspire the same sort of lust as bulldozers and off-road dump trucks, not that those don't appeal to us. The LX570 is slightly more nuanced, until you get to the robot vacuum fish face, while the Mercedes is handsome but restrained. The QX80 manages to gracefully transpose Infinity's swoopy, seaweed swaying in the current design language onto a double XL canvas. At least that's how some of us see it. Others think it's hideous. But it definitely isn't conservative, which gets respect even from the nauseated crowd. The QX starts at $64,245, with all wheel drive adding $3,100. You can move up the trim levels into the $70,000 range, but if you want it all with a little extra prestige, the $89,845 limited tested hair nabs unique truffle brown leather with silver piping and stitching, as well as quilting on the seats and center console. Matte finish, open poor ash wood trim is also specific to the limited and complements the leather nicely. Overall, Infinity's upscale materials keep the interior design looking fresh even though it dates back to 2011. The front and middle row thrones are plush and comfy, but the seats sit high enough that our tallest driver's head rubbed on the headliner, and it's a big climb up to get inside. The middle row flips forward to allow easy access to a third row that won't be comfortable for most adults, but wouldn't be punishing for little ones. And the kids at least get a decent view out. Whereas the GM mutes in particular have egregiously swollen C-pillars, Infinities are maybe one-third as wide. On the outside, the Limited gets a comprehensive darkening, with tinted lenses for the head and taillights, smoked chrome trim, and a special dark finish on its standard 22-inch wheels that takes on a brownish hue in certain lights. Even if you disagree with the styling, it's hard to object to the palette of our Hermosa Blue example. It's also hard to object to the QX80's ride. Even on 22-inch wheels, it's better controlled and damp than that of the Infinity's contemporaries. Grip, however, maxes out at just 0.72 grams, which trails just about everything save the Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. The QX80, riding on Bridgestone Dler tires, size 275-50R22 managed to stop from 70 miles per hour in 175 feet, which is decent for the class, but we noted a fair bit of fade by the time our fifth stop was completed. Damn phones, Babylon's